Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make this Greek giant bean stew. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. All right, this recipe comes together super, super fast. You are going to start off with some uh, giant lima beans or large lima beans and rinse them off. Uh, this is one pound and go ahead and toss them into your Instant Pot. And then I've got uh, four garlic cloves and two uh, about medium yellow onions and I've just diced those up. And I'm also going to put those in my Instant Pot. And then I've got two cans of diced tomatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. And hey, if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Up next, I've got four cups of vegetable broth. And I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. And up next, I've got the spices. I am going to put a link to a principal recipe in the description box down below so that you will have all of the amounts for this. And I've got some uh, pomegranate balsamic vinegar. Now you can use regular balsamic vinegar if you like. Um, I will put a link to these flavored balsamic vinegars um, that I get in the description box down below. I really love them for um, you know cooking as well as for salad dressings. They are absolutely delicious. Um, but again, if you've only got uh, regular balsamic vinegar, not a problem, you can go ahead and use that. So I'm just gonna quick give this a stir incorporate it uh, and get everything incorporated and then i'm going to go ahead and put this in my instant pot and you want to set your lid the vent to ceiling and then you are going to if you've got an instant pot you can use your bean setting if not you're going to do this for manual high pressure 30 minutes and you want to make sure to do a natural pressure release on this um, that way you give it extra time to cook those beans. All right, and here is the finished product. Isn't that simple? There is hardly any chopping on this soup and it is super, super delicious. I think I ate this for like five days in a row for lunch and dinner, it was that good. <laughs> um, and these, these beans, these large lima beans are they're pretty meaty. They're so, so delicious. I, I can't even describe it. You just have to make this, this stew and taste it. It's so good. Um, if you're liking this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button down below. And I went ahead and I served this with this um, sauteed uh, summer squash and zucchini and mushroom uh, that I just kind of threw together. Um, if you want a recipe for this, let me know and I can um, do a recipe video on this. But it was super simple. It's just red onions, um, uh, squash, uh, garlic, and then I just did, I think, uh, oregano and parsley, just fresh oregano and parsley. And I sauteed it all together and threw it on a plate. It was super simple. And then some Kalamata olives on there for my fat portion. And then I wanna show you how I serve up my stew um, because you wanna make sure that when you're serving up your stew that you're measuring just the beans for your uh, protein serving. Um, that way you're getting your full protein serving. Um, so I'm almost done here with <laughs> measuring out my fat serving. Kalamata olives are pretty light, so you kind of have to put a lot on the plate, right, to get to your um, two ounces. I don't know if, if you guys eat olives very often, but they're pretty light. Anyways, there we go, two ounces. Okay, on to the soup, or the stew. So I, um, when I pull my, my beans out of the pot, I actually strain them from the liquid, and I put the beans in one pot, and then, or in one uh, bowl, and then I put the liquid in another one. So um, there is a little bit of liquid here, but this is mostly just the beans. That way, when I'm measuring out my stew, I can measure out six ounces of pretty much just beans. And then I can put in a little bit of the broth um, and then I make sure I get my full portion of beans. Um, so that's a handy tip for you um, is to just kind of pre-strain it. Um, that way you don't have to do it each time. It just makes it really fast and easy. 
and there's, see, there's the broth. So that's how I do it. Um, yeah, so there you go. A super simple and easy, quick, so delicious stew. I can't tell you how delicious this stew is. It's, it's gonna be one of my favorites. It's gonna be on my fall menu pretty much, I don't know, pretty much at least once a month <laughs> for a whole week. <laughs> there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. If you wanna see more from my channel right now, go ahead and click one of the videos that you see on your screen right here, and I will see you next time.